afternoon and half a day gone I hope everyone is doing okay with this lockdown so as you know uh, for some of you that are not from Guam the government extended the lockdown for another month I believe till the end of September what does that mean for us well keep uh, keep your distance wear the mask sanitize and wash your butt I'm just kidding. But anyway, update on the uh, outside kitchen and back patio. As you see, they're still doing, uh, um, damn, I got a brain fart, plastering. So they're still doing plastering. So I guess it'll be all plaster all this week. And I'll take you upstairs. Uh, there was a gentleman that was doing some uh, uh, touch up on a uh, roof. So, well, uh, take pictures of that so <clears throat> well looks like it's almost finished in the inside kitchen okay all right so they did all that and they were doing this I mean it doesn't seem a lot but man that's a tedious work so he probably say that's that all he did <laughs> I'll tell you man I watched this guy he was up here touching it up squaring it making sure the line is straight so anyway let's go upstairs and see what they did I'm not gonna climb all the way up, but uh, yeah, as you see, yeah, he was doing a touch up on the cracks. So, okay, here we go. Yeah, see, his, he did a touch up, squaring it off, because if you look at it, this is how it look if you don't touch it up. You got all those little cracks and nicks from the form when they removed it. So they gonna smooth all this out, make it look all nice and, you know, whatnot. But, uh, yeah, they're going to fix all that up. They're going to cut all these three bars off and uh, seal it. So, And uh, I had mentioned to the contractor that when it rains, it has water pockets. You're just sitting in there. So what I told him to do is uh, build that up, make everything, you know, kind of come to the hole. Or the drainage hole so and when it rain as you see okay so they're gonna make a lip so everything will go down in there to that drainage that drainage so 
But yeah, this is the update for the outside kitchen and back patio. Going down. So in a way today, what I did is uh, did my yard. So uh, I'm kind of a little late to fly the drone, but uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow. You know, show you the yard work I did today. And my son helped. He did a bush cutting, you know, on the edges. Through my calamansi tree because there's some part there that's like dried and dying. But uh, it's kind of hard to see the yard from here. But let me see. Let me see if I can fly the drone.
a lot of plastering has been done this week and um, the electrical works has been put in so hopefully this week or Friday will pour as you see they um, digging I don't know if you can see it from here but they're, they're digging hole I mean they're digging a hole they're drilling a hole to the wall to put the rebars for the flooring and um, I can see they put hot water and cold water pipe for the sink and this right here is the power line a switch for the um, uh, food uh, garbage disposal and then I asked them to put a um, an outlet in here just in case I need like a blender or food processor of course I have this uh, outlet over there outlet right there and outlet right there so the electrician all day and yesterday they've been chipping and cutting to put the sub panel box as you see right there so they're gonna run a uh, hundred amps so this is basically a, a setup for a hundred amps just for this project which is I'm, I'm not even gonna use a hundred amps but you know it's good to have a uh, extra knowing that so and uh, I don't know if I mentioned just to keep in mind when, when they do plaster okay when they do plaster this kind of work you have to make sure that they use something like this. It's a bonding, uh, it's a concrete bonding. Okay, I say that because they'll be doing, uh, there, if you, I don't know if you can see that. What they do before they plaster, okay, they would apply that bonding concrete on a, on a cement. So as they apply it, they wait a little bit to kind of like semi-dry and they put that plaster. And what it does, it, it bonds a lot better and harder to the concrete together. So you get a good solid uh, bonding, you know, solution. And also, also they can use the same techniques using that for your tiles. So when they lay tiles, it's best to, again, uh, brush it or do a roller sequence, you know, do a roller method on uh, concrete and then apply the thin set and then the, the tiles. Now, in the past, I've seen a lot of the contractors and some do, some don't. They don't use those methods. They just do... Uh, thin set, okay. But I run into some where they 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 do that method. They put the bonding um, agent to the concrete. They take the thin set and they add cement just to make it a little stronger, so it bonds really good. You know, um, let me uh, get a stick and I'll and I'll show you something, because honestly, I wasn't here when these tiles were being put on. So I'll give you a perfect example. Let me just find a stick. Uh, I was holding a stick earlier. Okay. Should I say that? See, that's a solid sound, right? See, that's solid sound. You will run into a sound, something different. Okay, see the difference? There, do you see that? What happened is the concrete did not bond really good. So that's why it's kind of, it sounds hollow, but it's not. It's just that concrete didn't stick to the cement on the floor. So see the sound? See, this one right here, the concrete did not uh, cure it properly. So, see right here, the same thing. See, 
see? So yeah, that, that's gonna be the, the problem if they don't do it the way I was explaining it. You know, I'll put the, put the bonding. Anyway, this will conclude the build. So, you know, guys, I really thank you for uh, keeping in touch and watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and uh, press that notification bell. So, okay. Again, I'll see you next video. Thank you. God bless. Thank you just maasi. Maraming salamat po. And please, everyone, be safe during this uh, pandemic crisis.